Hi, my name's Yvonne and I'm a UK Stamping Up demonstrator and what I'm going to show you today is um, we had a blog hop um, recently um, and I'll put the links um, down below for, so you can actually look at it and on this blog hop um, the Pootla team that I'm a member of showcases um, different projects of the um, various products that are available in the new mini catalogue and the um, celebration uh, catalogue brochure as well. Now this is the box that I made for the blog hop. It's a 3x3 three three box and as you can see I've used a colour coordinating card um, with the DSP paper and this one was from the clubhouse um, set. And I've just put a little sentiment on the top and some twine. So I'm going to show you how to make this box and it is really easy. I'm going to bring my in so the base of the box is six inches by six inches and then I'm going to score at three quarters of an inch but one and three quarter inch all the way round just make sure that the measurement's right uh, no one and a half inch sorry so it's one and a half inch all the way round and I'm using my scoring blade on my trimmer because I find it really good. Now, unfortunately, this is black paper, so you're not going to be able to see my score marks very well. I'm just going to fold them over. I am going to show you is this is my template that I started off with and these templates is I, I save them in a folder so if I ever want to um, do a certain size box then I've got the template for it so as you can see you need to um, cut down these parts here and then wedge your tabs so I'll quickly do that now Wedge that. <clears throat> now this box design, I used it for some Christmas gifts. It held some soap in there. And I thought it'd be a really nice idea for using with the actual our sweet papers so as you can see all I've done is taken some wedges out of each of the tabs and then I am just going to glue them put this to one side to cut that good a little bit there Oops. <clears throat> just notice I've left a little bit I've been cutting it's not very good but there we go So just stick down your four tabs. This 
this is much better if it was a coloured card but for some reason I decided no I'll do black it's because of the paper that I want to use on top so I wanted to give it a coordinated look but I wasn't uh, thinking about how it would look on video but never mind you'll get the gist of it so I'll just make sure everything's stuck down and that's the base so the lid right so the lid I've cut this paper down so it's four and a half inches plus a sixteenth on top and the sixteenth on top is to make sure that it fits the actual base so it's four and a half inches plus the sixteenth I think it's nine six four and nine sixteenths um, when you use it or if you look at it in metric it's going to be 11.6 centimeters square so I'm now going to cut uh, to score this at three quarters of an inch on all sides let's do that and the last one <clears throat> So this particular paper is from the Celebration um, brochure, which is Golden Honey Specialty Designer Series paper. Now this one is gold um, with a black background. And if you look at my previous video, um, I showed the papers in the Celebration unveiling um, and I'll link that uh, down below, but this is one of the speciality papers that you will receive free when you spend over £45 in the um, in this period between January and March 2020. Celebration is a great way to get additional stamps um, for your collection and there's even card kits um, that are available. So I've just folded over all my score marks and I'm now just going to cut exactly the same what I did with the base. I'm going to cut it and wedge it. So cut and wedge. Cut and wedge. There we go. <clears throat> Remove my cutter out of the way. And just put the base lid together. <clears throat> So on the blog that I did, I showed a number of different boxes and different ways to actually close them dec or decorate them. So I did one with ribbon, you've just seen the one that I did with twine and then there was another one I did with a belly band. So it's entirely up to you how you want to close, how you want to um, decorate. So that is the box lid, and that will go nice fit on the box base. As I say, it's entirely up to you how you want to decorate it. This one, I'm going to use some real red stitch satin ribbon. And this is um, in the 
um, spring summer brochure, the mini catalogue. And all I'm going to do is get my ribbon scissors. Oops, spot. Right. <clears throat> I will use a little bit of tear and tape, I think, for this. Because I'm just going to create like a little belly band for this. I don't know whether it's going to work or not, but we will try. I'm nearly out of my pokey tool. Mm. I've had it earlier to get the backing off. There we go. <clears throat> So I don't want this ribbon too tight because I want to slide it off the box. So I'm just making it a little bit loose and then it can slide off quite easy. And then the final thing I'm going to do is do a ribbon which is going to be interesting doing this on camera because I don't normally do bows on camera and I've got my fingers stuck so I'm just doing what they call a bunny bow make sure my Oops. now there's lots of ways to do bows and I'm just doing it this way Just cut an angle. Oops. And then I can just stick that, possibly a bit of tear and tape again, just on the back. Let's get my peg tool out. I'm having problems tonight with uh, actually getting this off. There we go. Don't know quite well why I was having the problems. So I can put that on there. And that's a beautiful little box. Now this can be for a birthday, can be Valentine's Day, um, can be anniversary, however you however you want but, and it will open up and then you can put whatever you want in it now if you've just seen um, my ribbon box there is a tutorial for the ribbon box and I'll just show you when to put this back on we'll go on there we go So this is my ribbon box and oh, I've created it to store my ribbons and I've been used I've used the colour coordinator cardstock so it makes it easier for me to find my particular ribbon that I want um, and there'll be a tutorial for this um, later after, uh, next week. Well I hope you enjoyed watching this video and my little box I've made. I will put links below to um, my shop and my blog so you'll be able to have a look at the blog hop we've done 
and thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.